Our next lesson will be using our ladder. You do not have to have a ladder at home. You can use either squares of your tiles, squares of your carpet, or you can put down sticks to make sure that they're the, prop, the same exact distance all the way down, or markers, or tape, any way you want to do it to make sure that you have something that looks just like a ladder or the boundaries of a ladder to run through, to hop through, to do different activities through. And we want to make sure that when we're using it, we're going to start out by just running through, putting one foot in each square. So one foot in each square, going forward, using our arms as free power to give us momentum, acceleration in our body, and body control. Just like our balancing, just like any of our physical movements, our whole body is working as one. It's not just our legs and our toes going through the ladder. Our whole body is, is actually going through the ladder. So we want to increase our speed, our agility, and our quickness, and we're doing that with our ladder work today. First thing we're gonna do, so if you have tape or squares or whatever you're using, let's make sure that you have a way to not, we, we wanna make sure that we are emphasizing not touching that part of the ladder. So now I do not wanna to touch, I'm gonna to try my best to not touch the yellow or the black part of the ladder. As I run through, our first exercise going through is running through one foot in each square, one foot in each square. We don't have to go fast, we just wanna go through it without touching the yellow or the black. So as I run through, I use my arms as free power, to, for, to excel my body, to make sure that I have momentum going that way. We'll do that two times. So we have two times, we run through, making sure that we're getting all the way, our foot in each square. We are not skipping squares, we're not skipping our boundaries. Then we're gonna hop through. So then we two feet hop through. As we hop through, same thing. We do not wanna touch the part of the boundary that we have set up for ourselves to make sure that we have the same exact distance in between. So try your best to avoid touching the ladder or whatever you're using as a ladder. It does not have to be a ladder. We run through twice, we hop through twice, and then we're gonna run through by skipping one square. So as now we're gonna skip a square to increase the distance of our strides. Those are the three exercises that, we're gonna, that we've been doing. So we wanna step and also Increase the distance by skipping a square. So one foot in each square, then two feet hops, and then skip a square. And the last one, our fourth one, is we're hopping. To increase our hopping and leaping distance, we're skipping one square as well. So we do that twice as well. Remember, you can do these as much as you would like. They are exercises for you whenever you feel like doing them. But make sure that we are using our whole body when we're, using, when we're doing our ladder work. Our agility, our speed, our quickness, all comes from continuous practice of ladders or if you don't have a ladder, anything that's set up like one. Making sure that we're trying our best to control our body by not touching the part that we don't wanna to touch. So we don't wanna touch the yellow or the black to make sure that we're working on our boundary, our awareness, our balance, all of that comes hand, goes hand in hand. That is our activities for today.